Did you ever want to know when all that math and science you learned in high school would come in handy? Well, just ask the students studying laser and photonics technology at Central Carolina Community College. Seventy-two point eight three nanometers. We have an infrared pushing out nine hundred and fifty point five nine nanometers. If you're interested in lasers, focus on your math and uh, sciences because those are the things that'll help you a lot in in the laser fields. This is the visible light here, and this is our reading at four hundred ninety-six nanometers. Um, we'll jump down a little more. There it goes there. They want to come into this field and they know this is what they want to stay on top of you math. If you can do that, you can make it through the program with no, with no problems. Um, I think it's a good program for anybody to come into right now, especially to with the economy like it is. It's, it's a program that's going to be here. You'll always be able to find a job. If you like science and math, it's just an exciting field to get into. We give them a placement test. If they don't score enough to get into the program, they can take courses to increase their knowledges in whatever area in order to enter into the program, whether it's math developmental courses or English developmental classes. They have lenses and they put all that together, beam splitters and polarizers and things like that. We do a lot of math here. We take tree and tree functions, um, a lot of algebra. I like technology. I think it's cool. Um, I have good math and science scores whenever I took my placement test, so that was a plus. So when the diode isn't conducting, it's not taking away, is it? It's a lot of equations and angles and a lot of theorems, so you need to make sure that you remember them and study them. All right, half it, and we get 532 nanometers, okay? You have to have an understanding of science and an understanding of math entering into the program. I mean, we can start out at ground zero teaching, but it's a lot better if someone comes in with some background and back understanding. It'll all pay off. If, if you're struggling with math in high school right now, if you just study hard and work through it, it'll all pay off. It's not going to disappear. And now we've got this cool looking blue light. So we're looking at 474.97 nanometers. It seemed like if you climb it up clockwise, it would get stronger on both sides. You think that you're never going to use it, but when you get into a field like this, you're going to need it. <laughs> Pushing out 950.59 nanometers. Community colleges can help you get your math and science up to speed. And some even offer courses in laser and photonics technology that can prepare you for an exciting, high-tech, and high-paying career.